what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to the first episode of iron fist for those of you who are new to the channel uh i have taken it upon myself to uh react to the marvel netflix universe um but uh it is part of my binge and release schedule which means uh i will binge the whole season and then i will begin to release it um and then you know there'll probably be a break between this season and the next season of whatever ends up coming first or next or whatever. Um, in case you didn't know, uh, I've done Daredevil season one, uh, Jessica Jones season one, and then I did Daredevil season two, and then I did Luke Cage season one. So it's been a while since I've been back to Daredevil, but we're doing this in the watch order and the way that it was released. So yeah, now now we're up to Iron Fist, and yeah. Um, I don't really know much about this character, to be honest with you. Um, I guess I'm gonna learn some things. Uh, let's get into it. Oh, right, new intro sequence. Mm, this one's like a painting as well. Hmm. Music seems a bit... eh. Honestly, it sounds like a bit of a score, not a title sequence song. I think you should put some shoes on. Okay, maybe not. She might be homeless. I don't know. Should invest in some shoes. Cause like, you don't know what you could be standing on then. This guy! Who, by the way, I'm pretty sure is the main character. Um, has shoes. money for headphones, but not for shoes. I'm here to see Harold Meacham. I'm sorry, that's not possible. I'm Danny Rand, son of Wendell Rand. I've uh, been away a long time. Ra wait, oh. is this your place? This is new. Why are you a hobo? Is it your company? Or like you? Uncle's company or auntie? I don't know. Let's go. You don't belong here. Okay, none of those Danny people Rand. were Rand. Now, come on, guys. Just Did they throw him out because they think he's a hobo? Because to be fair, you look like a hobo. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Maybe you should have shown up in a suit. I don't know. Oh, you didn't notice that? Who are you? Where's Harold? Excuse me. Ward? Joy? Oh, my hey, god. Um, Danny. she was on 90210. She was Silver. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but let me just talk to your dad, okay? I'm afraid Harold Meacham is dead. What? I guess I need to talk to you then. What you need is to get out of my office. Look, I, it's me. Seriously. Look, I know this is strange. Really? But... You think? Maybe that's because Danny Rand is dead. Please get out of here now. Lord, so it's clearly been gone for a down. while. Calm down. Is this like an Oliver Queen situation? Are you seriously telling me to calm down? Get out. Look, whoever you are, I think it's best if you leave. Look, I don't want to leave. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to... Your last chance, buddy. Ward, wait. Get this crazy piece of shit away. Look, it doesn't have to be like this, okay? I'm... If you set foot in this building again, our guards will take it as a personal threat. I mean, if he we'll gets uh, arrested, actually, they'll fingerprint him and be like, I think you oh, know what that means. that's Look, the dude. Ward, don't do this. You're gonna feel real stupid once He's not dead. Come on! You look like Danny. Joy. I know, I know, it's crazy. It's, it's not Danny. It's not. But what if it is? What the hell are you going Super Saiyan? Oh, we're just going into flashbacks. 
I don't know, maybe it's Putty Palace, I don't, I don't know. Is this your old house? That's very not good. Didn't work. What, was your plan to just break into someone's house? Oh, your plan is to break into someone's house. You're gonna jump up there, aren't you? This is someone's house. I mean, you could have knocked and be like, hey, can I check out this place? I used to live here. You know, that's actually how my uncle met my auntie. I'm just gonna tell you the story. Uh, he was driving past his old house and, you know, he was like, I, I wanna just check out the place and knocked on the door and then they got to talking and then, hey, now they're married. Wasn't a very long story. Oh, they live there now. Or at least one of them does. Are they together or are they brother and sister or... Alright. I don't think so. That doesn't right. really look like him. You have to. It's the rules. Dad says rules are for pussies. Well, you're playing a game. You're playing Monopoly. Right here. You need to... Oh, but here comes Mommy and Daddy to protect you and give you lots of hugs and kisses. Do you it's not disgusting. get that? Or I guess you don't get I... that. Danny's been kind of a problem. Alright, so he's just like his bully. Who the hell plays Monopoly like that? I don't want to pay. You accepted to play a game. Play by the rules. Oh, you probably shouldn't get caught here. Oh my god, you're going to really sleep here. Oh my god, you really are homeless. How have you, how have you had that charged if you're homeless? Did you just set it up to charge while you were walking around that house before? Nice iPod. I got an iPhone. Nice. You can find anything you want on the internet. You want me to look someone up? Before whoever owns his phone cancels the service. Oh, so you like stole it? Danny Rand. Oh yeah, there was a kid. The whole family died in a plane crash. Very sad. You can get shoes at the shelter on East 13th. Just make sure you piss in them first. Carry the bad juju from the previous owner. Only way to get rid of them is with your piss or, or the blood of a she-goat. Uh, it's hard to find around here. I'm guessing people think we're pretty much alike. Special creatures. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's got himself a tent. At least he's not sleeping um well. Hey, uh, Joy, tree. Joy, my hey, my hey, Danny seems hey, to be. What are you doing here? Well, I've been waiting to talk to you. Joy, hey. And I will make sure that you're arrested and sent to jail for the maximum time. Joy, come on. Hey, look, it's we used to be friends. It's me. We were on the same soccer team. I played the goalie. You're living in my house. This is my house now. It seems that way. Dog's pretty scary. <laughs> did you break in? My dog was closed in my study last night when I got home. You did that? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> That was completely unnecessary. Is he in the bird? Is he seeing through the bird? Are you doing a brand thing? No. I don't know. Is this you? Yeah. I'm Danny. Colleen Wing. Oof, don't like the name Colleen. Need to make sure you have a show now. Anyone sugar, man? I speak English or Japanese. I haven't spoken Mandarin since I was a kid. I'm sorry. I'm um, wondering if maybe I can get a job with you. I've already got someone who cleans up. No, wait, I meant... See ya. I'm gonna make sure Shannon has people posted outside your place. Oh, There's that's weird thing. hearing my name. This is either a crazy guy or 
It's some sort of setup, playing on our emotions. Why? Because we lost a friend when Danny died. Wouldn't you love it if somehow he was still alive, walked into you our You seem like your friend. You were kind of rude. <laughs> or do you really think the timing is coincidental? Right when we're about to announce our expansion in China. How does that get you with Someone walks in who potentially owns 51% of the company. The perception is there's a leadership struggle. And who gains from this? Our competition. It could be anyone. This is Sorry, a bit extreme. I haven't driven since my dad put me on his lap and let me drive around her place in the Hamptons. Stop the car now. Ward, I just need to talk. Pull over. Put the gun away now. Look, I just want to talk, okay? I have been met with nothing but anger and hostility since I've been home. And honestly, it, it, it's kind of aggravating. Ah! Oh. How does it feel? Huh? Not so good. And now you're coming across even more crazy. Bang! Throwing it down like that could make it go off. You what are you get doing? A penny from us. Who said anything about money? I want to know what happened to me, to my parents. Wendell Rand, his wife Heather, and their son Danny died in a plane crash in the Himalayas. The plane was never found. Then why would it be so hard to believe that, Keep going. that he That's would be him? Why would I know anything more? And why do you think that there's as a 15 year old you're and naturally why do curious. you care because you are not danny Rand. yes i am show me a dna test of i have no living relatives I, I was 10 when we crashed i mean you could still you know have what? a dna test you were a dick as a kid and you're still a dick now they would have your you dna on record from me. like when you no. were born you put a dead frog in my sandwich oh my god you would kick me in the balls every chance you had you're a dick Does it sound familiar None of that is true. Yes, it is. When you're a 10 year old boy and you watch your mother die, and you know you and your father are next, it feels like this. Stop the car! Hold on, Danny! Oh my god! Stop the car! Stop the car! I'm sorry, eh? I, I didn't mean to. This isn't over. I know. What's your purpose? To protect Kunlun from all oppression. Honor the sacrifice of Shao Lao the Undying. Well, okay then. So, what I... is his power? You're for a lesson? Does he have a power? Fucking two dollars get me. Coffee down the street? Hmm. I could teach a couple classes. I mean, that's what I was asking when I was talking about work. I'd be cheap, no hassle at all. Where'd you train? Kunlun. Can't really get there from here. Nice try. Now it's time to go. Hey. Thanks. Man, it's so hard to believe that you're walking around New York and you haven't stubbed your toe once on any glass or anything. What the hell? Oh, this is just so that you can see what, what he's capable of. Why are you... Who sent you? Who sent you? Who do you think? Want me 
teach him. I mean, you threatened his life. This is his god. Who do you think? Like, put it together. Gosh, it's weird seeing people in like giant huddles of. No way people are gonna be this close now. <laughs> Hello, Shannon. Hi. How's it going? Thank you. I didn't say anything worth thanking, but sure. Okay, that's a little like high tech for a apartment complex building thing. I don't know. To be honest, it looked like a hotel. <laughs> Hi, Dad. The Chinese you want is gonna drop. Okay, so you're looking pretty good expansion. for someone that died of cancer. I'll take care of it. No, Twelve I years take ago. Take care of the Danny Rand situation. Is he here all the time now? Ward, try to learn from me. You hire people when they're young. Pay them twice what they're worth. It builds loyalty. Will you ever betray me, Kyle? No, I sir. mean, why would he say yes? <laughs> why don't you take the rest of the day off? It's nearly midnight, sir. Oh, too late then, huh? Okay, he sounds, like, scared. He loves me. Jesus, Dad. The hell is wrong with you? Danny Rand, the character. He tried to have Shannon handle him, that didn't work out so well. Apparently yeah, I'm just not, not very good at hmm. handling people. So what's he saying? What's his story? He sounds like a lunatic. I don't know what his story is. You haven't talked to him? Well, no. I mean, you did talk to him. first rule and business is to know your enemy. Trickier if this actually is young Danny Rand. That's impossible. Stranger things have happened. We can't let him go public. No, we cannot. If he's still alive, does that mean his parents are still alive? Who else knows he's alive? What does he know? Who has he told? Why has he waited this long to show up? What does he want? I don't know. Neither he told you what he wanted. Which is why you can't just send some idiot to beat the shit out of him. Understood? Sir... Why have you faked your death? Hey, Al, oh, you awake? Does that mean something? What makes you think Ward tried to kill you? Your security guy came after me. Shannon? Are you sure? I'm sorry, I can't help it. Very sure. I was well, sent off to him, apparently. Away. Yeah. All right, even if Shannon did attack you, I, I did. have to believe that it was something he might have instigated on his own. She? I'm she. Either way, it doesn't make a difference. The, the plane it started to come apart and... Uh... Did you drug him? And then... Um... Looks like you had another one of those episodes. Better to let him sleep. Season 1, Episode 1 of Iron Fist. Um, pretty decent. Um, I have a lot of questions. Why did the guy fake his death? Um, why... I mean, I understand this whole, like... Like, they're very skeptical in thinking that it's actually Danny, and I understand. Um, it's like, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting in a way that, like, it's kind of like Arrow... But, like, he's been gone a lot longer, so it's a lot less likely to believe. Um, yeah. Um. I'm mostly just intrigued. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.